Now from your weather authority, here is your weekend weather, sponsored by Pack Saddle Barbecue. Well, last night we saw yet another night of below freezing temperatures for those overnight lows. And this morning we uh, warmed right back into those 50s, a little bit colder than what we saw yesterday. And actually a little bit below that average as compared to what we saw yesterday. That average being 60 degrees for that afternoon high. We only got to 57 this afternoon, just three degrees shy of reaching average. And looking ahead to tomorrow, we'll actually see a slight increase in those temperatures and get slightly above average for those afternoon highs. But we will continue to see another night of below average overnight lows again tonight expected to see those 20s very similar to what we saw last night those current temperatures in downtown san angelo right now looking off towards the north we're seeing those 30s already across much of the area 38 degrees in san angelo 31 degrees for that dew point has not changed since the 6 p.m show and humidity sitting at 76 percent that humidity increasing as those temperatures continue to decrease and we could see some clouds start to form throughout these overnight hours and those winds right now we saw some kind of strong winds throughout the afternoon but they have calmed down and they'll continue to remain fairly calm throughout these overnight hours right now out of the west and at seven miles per hour again with those winds we've been seeing over these past 24 hours these are the peak wind gusts we've seen across the area a little bit lighter for northeastern parts of the Concha Valley but off towards the southwest that's where we're really seeing that increased winds and we saw 30 mile per hour gusts 32 miles per hour in Ozona 31 mile per hour gust in Sonora 32 mile per hour gusts in Junction and these winds are just going to increase over these next several afternoons tomorrow, looking to see these winds even stronger than what we saw this afternoon. Those current temperatures across the entire area, again, all of us actually in those 30s across the Concho Valley, 39 degrees in Ballinger, as well as Coleman and Robert Lee, 38 in St. Angelo, 37 in Mertzen, as well as Ozona, 36 degrees in Big Lake. So a very small spread of those temperatures across the Concho Valley as we're all just a little bit colder than what we saw this time last night. Very similar to what we saw last night, but a one or two degree drop from what we saw for those lows expected, though looking towards tomorrow afternoon, that's when we're actually going to be seeing a slight increase in those temperatures and back to those 60s for those afternoon highs. Those temperatures across the entire state, a little bit colder for northern parts of the state. Amarillo already in the 20s, 25 degrees in Amarillo, 41 in Wichita Falls, 37 degrees in Waco, and still seeing some 50s on the map, 54 degrees in Houston, 52 in San Antonio, and 59 degrees in Laredo. And that forecast for tonight, another night of below freezing temperatures. Mid-20s could be expected for some of us, though 28 for that overnight low here in San Angelo. Mostly clear skies, though we could see a couple of clouds throughout the area. Winds out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour, but looking towards tomorrow, that's when those winds really start to pick up. Winds at out of the south at 5 to 25 miles per hour through the afternoon. Gusts close to 35 miles per hour. Very sunny skies. Temperatures a little bit warmer as those southerly winds just increase those temperatures a little bit. And that daily planner, again, that's really going to show us those winds picking up and picking up even further going through those overnight hours. Could see gusts close to 50 mile per hour for Sunday night. And that seven day forecast, a little bit of a cool down back to the 50s. We'll stay in those 50s for the majority of the week.